What is the difference between being a top performer and an excellent leader? Because oftentimes people mix up the two and they think that if you are a great performer, you're a great individual contributor, inherently you're a leader or inherently you're going to be a good leader because you're, you're driving results. Um, mm -hmm. But as we now know, those are not the same thing. So what's the difference? Well, I mean, it's, it's funny. I mean, the, 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 the way to get the opportunity to interview for a management job at most places and, and the place where I work was they, they look at the top of the stack rankings and the handful of people at the top of the, the stack, the sales stack rankings get a chance to interview and they have the best chance to, to get the job. And, and the, the, the funny part about it is there's, there's very little of what you did as an individual contributor that actually translates to you being a good coach or manager of a team of others doing that. Yeah. Um, the the skill set's just completely different. And I understand why you look towards the top performer because basically the, the, the thought process is, well, they were really good, so they probably have earned some respect from their peers. Let's elevate them and then tell them, okay, tell everybody else exactly what you did so that you can create a bunch of clones, essentially. Yeah. And and so I, I get that, that that's, that's why it happens. However, there are some, there are a lot of, superstar performers that are horrible coaches it's just like have you did you ever grow up in a math class with a math teacher who was a genius when it comes to solving math equations and math problems however what they weren't good at was explaining how to do it to others yep. they could get up on the board and pop, 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 right? I'm, I'm thinking one specific teacher right now he was incredible at actually doing the math problem but when anyone else who wasn't nearly as smart as him had questions, he struggled to explain how oh, we yeah. could do it, right? So the yeah. same thing happens in sports. Like Mag Magic Johnson coached the Lakers at one point. He was terrible at it, right? But Because he, he's a great player. Michael Jordan, same, not really a great coach. Larry Bird was a coach, but was just okay. A better front office guy of selecting talent than he is actually coaching others. So it's not always the top performer and is going to be – a great coach like look in the nfl a lot of the great coaches were not the starting quarterback they were the backup or the third stringer or even guys who didn't make it to the nfl are doing it sean McVay is one of them he went to miami where i went initially and and was it was an average receiver and now he's like the hot coach in the nfl so i think the same happens in this in the sales world the same happens in in in, in all the business world where you're just grabbing the top performer without actually fully checking can they can they coach others who aren't as talented as them? Can they help other people who aren't naturally as good as them? Yeah. And that's the problem is, is, is sometimes we elevate and promote people who are just not good teachers, not good coaches. And, and a big element of management of leading a team is, is teaching and coaching other people to levels that they didn't even realize they were capable of reaching.